like, um, hello? This is your first time in the underwater one. These are cautious first steps in a rehab pool fitted with an underwater treadmill for a dog with three legs. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Good girl. It marks just one more first in the life of this five-year-old Belgian Malinois named Leica. She was about to get it about the time this started slipping. But this team at the University of Tennessee College of Veterinary Medicine knows Leica's checklist of achievements is not only long, it's the stuff of legend. These uh, war dogs are just uh, tremendous heroes. This military service dog has parachuted out of airplanes. That's Leica tucked under her handler. And not only did she serve during wartime, on a mission in Afghanistan in 2012, Leica took the lead clearing a building and put herself in harm's way to protect her fellow troops charging an enemy soldier. The soldiers shot Leica four times with AK-47 rounds, and she took uh, the slugs mainly to her leg that's now amputated, probably saved two or three lives uh, by going in there because even despite her pain and being shot, she still subdued her uh, attacker, and that allowed the other soldiers to come in behind her. So she truly is a hero in, in terms of saving lives. To save this canine soldier from her war wounds, surgeons had to remove Leica's right leg. Her stamina and battlefield heroics later earned a cover shot on National Geographic. In retirement, she settled into civilian life with her longtime handler. But recently, an injury on the home front gave Leica another life test. Just a freak accident on a four-wheeler. She had gotten in front and uh, unfortunately was struck by the four-wheeler and had some ligament damage to the wrist. Leica flew all the way from Oklahoma to Knoxville for a couple of reasons. UT is world renowned for its canine therapy center and it has a long tradition of helping military service dogs. Veterinarians equate Leica's latest injury to the damaged snowboarders face landing wrong on their wrist, suffering a jolt of too much torque and pressure. And the implants are fairly small in that area, so we've had to protect it with a cast. Leica's prognosis is good. Not long after surgery, she was back up, wobbling a bit, but walking and putting weight on her front paw. So we need to bring her back slowly into condition. A full recovery means at least a few more weeks of pool time. This therapy eases the pressure on her front leg and allows this middle-aged pup to regain her balance, muscle, and cardio strength. As you can imagine uh, walking in the water at the beach yourself, it's pretty tiring. Leica has a veteran team by her side for every new step, and her surgeon says he's learned without a doubt there is no quit in this war dog. You can see she just has a zest for life and really uh, wants to please everybody.